Okay, we're going to make a phone call. Here we go. That works. Uh, I'm going to phone ICBC, cancel the insurance on the truck. So here we go. Uh, call 800 Customer service. Please have your driver's license or plate number ready. If you are calling long distance, please call our toll free number 1 800 663 3051. This call may be recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Please choose one of the following five options. If you know the extension number or the last name of the head office employee you would like to speak to, press 1. To report a new claim or to inquire about an existing one, press 2. For a copy of your driving record or ICBC insurance history not related to the Scrap It program, press 3. For all other inquiries, press 4. Please provide one of the following. If you have your BC vehicle license plate number available, press 1 now. Or, if you know your BC driver's license number, press 2 now. Please say your BC driver's license number now. Thank you. Your call is now being transferred to a representative. ICBC, Ed speaking. How can I help you? Yes, hello, Ed. Uh, how are you today? Not bad. How are you? Uh, not good. So that's why I'm phoning you. Give you a call, a heads up of what just happened. Uh, I arrived uh, home late last night at approximately... Uh, 15 minutes to midnight, midnight 11.45, uh, close to midnight last night, to find uh, my house was uh, uh, robbed it was, uh, and, and my truck was stolen. And I have a good idea who it was, so I, I uh, put the report into the RCMP. Oh, good, uh, good. Yeah, I put the report into the RCMP. Now I need to cancel my insurance and also put an alert at the border just in case. Now, one thing uh, we normally suggest, you do not have to do this, but this is what they suggest you do just to protect yourself uh, in case something happens. Mm -hmm. They suggest that, because it happened to me once too, and um, they suggest that you don't cancel for at least 30 days, so let everything go through. We'll still backdate it for you anyway, so you're not going to be out any money, but it just protects you in case there's, a, what if there's an accident or something like that and something happens. Um, but you can if you do, if you absolutely want to do it and don't want to wait the 30, we can't stop you. You would have to go to your local agent, uh, have your police file number with you, and uh, they'll get you to sign, because you don't have the plates, right? The plates are on the vehicle. Plates are on the vehicle and the insurance is in there. I just got a bad feeling that the paperwork and the insurance, they might try to forge a signature and maybe trade it and transfer it or something like that. Yeah. So uh, what you can do then is, like, you have to go to the agent. They need your signature. Take your police file number with you. Um, if you don't know the plate number, they can pull it up just based on your name and your license. I have my plate number right here in front of me. Yeah, perfect. Then they'll just uh, get you to sign for the cancellation, and then a refund will be generated within a day or two. Okay, uh, so I guess I could do that uh, pretty quick. Okay, uh, as long as I know, you know, the, the formula, what to do in that regard. So I guess I need a, a police report number or something like that. Yeah, like they, if you report the police, they should have given you one. Uh, yeah, if they didn't, no. then just call them up. They'll have it ready for you. They'll, you can just write it down. Okay, uh, okay then. Over the phone, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you very much. I'll, I'll get yeah. on that. You're very welcome. Okay. Take care. You bet. Bye.